everybody, Tom Glazer here with another edition of my video blog. Great to be with you again. Thanks for watching. So I'm out to tea with my friend Jesse. I always learn something from Jesse. This time it was something I had never heard of before. It's called Kintsugi Pottery. K-I-N-T-S-U-G-I. This is a Japanese art form that repairs broken pottery. Not just, however, to make it look brand new again. No, the idea here is to enhance it. They use liquid gold or silver or lacquer with um, dust particles, I'm sorry, gold particles in it, making the pottery look like something we could never have anticipated beforehand. I've got one example, not an actual example, but this is a picture off the internet. So this is a bowl from above and you can see these amazing intricate gold pieces from this piece of pottery. Isn't that just so gorgeous? And of course it got me thinking, might the same thing not apply to us? How about our human woundedness, our scars? Might, might they not make us more beautiful and whole again? actually. And if so, what's the process? So I've really been thinking about that. And to me, two of the greatest pieces in our human healing are community and acceptance. So when I'm surrounded by my loved ones who accept me as I am, you know, warts and all, that's a healing process. When I work through all of my emotions related to loss and trauma. So you got to go through the fear, the self-blame, the depression, the anger, etc. That, that only then and through going through those time and time again can we get to a place of equanimity again. That's that liquid gold that we can apply to ourselves and aren't we more beautiful as a whole. So your assignment, should you choose to accept it, is to reflect back and talk with someone about how you have been made more beautiful, better, and stronger by the hardships that you have faced. Thanks for watching in. I'll look for you on the next one. Take care.